some huge fish in here. I don't know if you can see that lad down there. And then there's a couple of others. Don't seem very interested in the food I've got for them. Tommy's just down the bottom there, and uh, as you can see, the vegetable patches are all in bloom and producing. Not quite sure what they're producing, but they look nice. All these look like marrows or cucumbers look beautiful. Uh, some sweet peas. I'm assuming that these are sort of boat owners that uh, that pre prepare these and uh, plant them. Oh, lovely. There might be beetroot. Not that I'm any plant expert, but it uh, looks good. I thought they might be beehives, but I don't think they are. I think some kind of composting. Uh, shop at shops and the restaurants and bars and what have you of uh, Mercia Marina. Nice place to, pre to, to frequent if you get the chance. So uh, this is where we've uh, got a mooring for a couple of months in Mercia Marina while I've been to in and froing with the hospital. Uh, I may have already shot this video, I can't remember. Uh, we tucked in a nice spot here. Uh, just keeping Tommy safe. The roof's still looking pretty good. Got a bit of dirt on it, but it's not flaking in anywhere or rusting. So, oh, it's a long way actually. I can see one rust spot. Uh, in general, it still looks pretty neat and tidy. Two boxes looking fresh. I've taken the camera off because it's leaking, so that's a job that we've got to fix. Uh, I don't know. It was not that it was always faulty that one that, on the bow. So I fixed it. It lasted, and I've tried to fix it again, but it's not worked. So I'm going to take it home and have a better go at it. Right, I forgot to turn the camera on again, so you can have a boom exploding brain here. Carol's laughing at me, background. <laughs> so we've just uh, refitted the uh, hob down. Uh, it's it was it's like stuck to the granite, uh, and I've. Uh, just re-adhesived it down, um, we had it out because there was a problem underneath with a thermocouple. Uh, but it's back down. Uh, we're going to leave it and then I'm going to trim the, the excess off on our next visit. So, sorry I didn't video that. It wasn't very interesting anyway really, but I've got to come up with some footage for somewhere for you guys. So, this is this morning's challenge. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> We've got to uh, do the floor in here. We did the saloon floor earlier in the year, as you'll recall, but uh, never did the bedroom. We did, uh, you've probably seen a bit of video somewhere of us digging the floor up in here. Well, maybe not. I can't remember if I brought the camera or not, but <laughs> probably not, knowing me. But anyway, there's this. It's not a huge amount of floor, but it's quite fiddly, I think. Uh, you can see we've got a box of tiles left. Uh, so we're going to uh, have a pop of that on the hottest day of the year. Yeah. We're going to give that a whirl. 
Mrs. M's just trying to uh, minimise the damage that I can cause. As I can. Uh, uh, because I am renowned for making a flaming mess of everything. But we'll see. All good. So, uh, not the easiest of floorings to fit this one, and we've, um, we've got the uh, got the straight pieces down the middle. The easy ones done. Uh, I managed a bit of a tricky cut round this corner here. Uh, doesn't look particularly great, but uh, I think we'll probably have to put some mastic or something in the edges just to tidy it up. Uh, unfortunately, here. Obviously the boat starts to curve into the bow, so that's uh, an issue that's got to be uh, tackled. So, uh, uh, and I've bit of cocked up a little bit really because I'm going to be left with about an inch sticking past here, which is not ideal. But, uh, say la vie, we'll, uh, we'll press on and see what transpires. Right, the other end didn't go so well with this round piece here, so what I'm going to try and do is just nip it off with the... And hopefully we can pass it underneath. master plan. Whether or not it'll work, I don't know. Yeah, so you see that'll go under there now and under there. So with a bit of luck, what we'll do now is remove all the flooring and slide the piece in. It's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a fiddly little piece that's got to go in this and round this corner. Right, that got this piece looking pretty trim along here. Not so good at the other end, but it's under bed, so we'll not see most of it. That's this thing cut in. And we've still got this bay here to do. And then obviously the cuts along the outside. But so far so good. Right, the piece we want is this side mm -hmm. with the grey it for on. I'm just going to go that way first, grab it, just support that end at this point and I'll make, start making me cut down here and then we'll rejig re as we get so far. And the people watching so behave yourself, no swearing. <laughs> uh, just go your way a bit further while I get started. I'm going to say when we go back to Ikea I'll have to buy a new table again. <laughs> I'll stand up. see it's a spotting challenge. I'm trying to keep all the mess in the bathroom by the way that's why we're working in here. Yeah. Because <laughs> I make a mess all over if not. It just... It just jerry's. You've just... <laughs> you've linkered. Oh, yeah. Right, million dollar question is, will it fit?
as you can see we're uh, getting there we're all right at that side still got the little bit here and then the round the corner bit to do but we're uh, making good headway So, it's done. That's the, that was the last piece just up there. Made a mess up of the last piece, would you believe? And waste the day for blank, but say la vie. It's uh, complete. Mrs. Machin's on scrubbing up duties. As usual. She's her favourite, she <laughs> likes that. Uh, we just need to tidy the chaos away now and, uh, and get back to normal. So, pleased with that. huge fish in here, I don't know if you can see that lad down there and then there's a couple of others don't seem very interested in the food I've got for them So Carol, tell us about your new shelf that have been so graciously made for you. I've been waiting since Christmas, last Christmas. It is now mid-August and I finally... It's I didn't finally... say tell them how rubbish I was, I said tell them about your shelf. And it's made me a shelf, which is very nice. I'm in the middle of doing this, so you have to bear with me. But it's to go there um, so I can have my pittles and so on and so very nice little jars which somebody bought me for Christmas three of those and that's what started it all off because they were really nice so it's finally made myself <laughs> I'm not explaining myself very well here I've been poorly you know <laughs> yes dear since January <laughs> yeah so we uh, Carol's son got us the uh, well, what's the wood? I can't remember the name of the wood. Oak. Not oak. Ash. ash. It's ash. Ash. Which is the same as all of the uh, all of the fitting out of the boat. So uh, we used some of it for something else. Can't remember where it was. Anyway. Um, when we did the fire. Oh yes, the fire surround. Yes. Uh, and this has been sat waiting patiently, patiently. for me to get <laughs> down to shelving, which I've now <laughs> done. Yeah. Uh, so. I think it'll look um, very nice. Who knows, by this time next year I may have fitted it. <laughs> if you don't, I will. Oh dear. And that'll frame you to do it. <laughs> I'm sure uh, my mini stations aren't as good as yours. Uh, Once we get it up on the wall, we'll show you. Hello. Good morning. We just thought we'd uh, fill you in on our boat safety certification mm. scheme uh, inspection. Now we didn't film it because uh, I don't like filming other people, and uh, I've not got the I'm not I'm not got the wherewithal for asking permission and no, all of that at this point it's in not time. It's easy to do a job. Absolutely. And it was, but, it was great. Uh, yeah, yeah we we used a guy called Gareth Ross. Uh, Best at shot. Shardlow. Was he? Yeah. I'll take your word for that. I can't remember where he's GP based. Marine. Anyway. Yes. Anyway, uh, obviously 
when we first got the boat in 2021 uh, it was already sorted up uh, and I think it, it had only been about six months to a year mm. since it had been done so we've had two, two and a half, three years of uh, not having to worry about this but it's been looming for a bit so we'd made the booking uh, some time ago uh, Carol looked it up in and went, who, did you, who did you use to find oh, you on the net weren't you mm. on the boat safety scheme yeah. site yeah. there's a, a catalogue of people that, that, uh, that can do the inspections and uh, and uh, certify the boat so we, we had him round anyway and uh, really lovely guy mm. really helpful you were stuffed, uh, didn't you? Yeah. You were yeah. quite comfortable with him. I was. Uh, again, being a systems man, and he was he was clued up on all of that, so it was good talking to him. He came up with a couple of suggestions that uh, could improve things, and uh, I'm going to take them on board. I think they were good. Uh, but in terms of the system, I, I suppose we ought to say we passed. We passed, yes. Although we haven't got the certificate yet. Yes, it was very complimentary. Uh, but yes, he says it's yeah. a lovely boat. It's yeah. just put together yeah, well, well and well looked well. after. So we were pleased with that. Mm. Uh, so Tommy, once we get the certificate, is certified for another four years. Oh, yes. Uh, obviously, we then need to submit that to CRT for licensing and to the insurance company for reinsurance. <laughs> yes, they're looming. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. End of September. So the end of September, our, boat, uh, our CRT licence is due, and obviously this year it will be including the supplement for continuous, continuous cruising, cruising, despite the fact we're in a marina and have paid to be in a marina yeah. for the last couple of months. But, uh, so that'll be interesting. Uh, so anyway, that's it. Good news, really. See, mm. Tommy's certified. And we can take that out of our list of things to get done uh, and get back, uh, get back onto cruising and... We've had a bit of a change of plan on the cruise, and I'm not going to fill you in on this uh, on this video, but uh, keep watching, and soon you'll see. Uh, it's all exciting news. You'll see where we're heading off to, and it's pastures new, so we're going to be colouring yeah. in map, uh, yeah. backtracking a little bit, yeah, but but, yeah. but colouring in map, yeah. and a game plan really for the back end of 2024 and maybe the start of 2025. Yeah. So keep watching. It all depends on the CRT stoppages and for maintenance and so on. But yeah. we've we've got a plan, vague plan together. So yeah, as much as you can on the canals yeah. I and mean, everything changes, yeah. doesn't it, from one so. day to the next. In fact, we're going out today for a little run with the family, and there's a tree down in the cut, so we're not quite sure yeah, what we're going to so, have to do with that. Um, so it, it, it's part of the part of the enjoyment, really. Mm. You take it as it comes, don't you? And, if, and knowing us, we're ever so slow again anyway. One of the things that's really bothered us this year is we've been really slow. Yeah, yeah. we've had different uh, commitments. Obviously with it, you know, Ada year. being born and then the badly and all that nonsense. Yeah. So we've not really done the miles that we did last year. So the sec this once we leave this marina, we're, 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 hitting, it. we're hitting it for a bit. And we're <laughs> going to rack some miles up, hopefully, before we, uh, before we moor again towards Christmas. Yeah. Uh, so keep watching. Mm. Uh, we'll uh, we'll try and we'll, we'll try you. and vary it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. We're actually going to try and get some picture off of the boat at some point in time. Although I've said that before and haven't succeeded, but this time oh. maybe we will. Yeah. Anyway, take care. We'll see you soon. <laughs>